Hi. Today I'm going to make platinum. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Platinum. Um, like this. Patties. They're super yummy. And um, I went to my Mexican grocery store and I got six. I usually get them when they're not ripe and I have to wait. And then today I checked on them. And some of these are getting a little too ripe. So I said, I'm going to make it. And um, I'm going to go out of town. And I think this is too much for two days. But I, if I leave the platinins behind, uh, they're gonna, when I come back, they're going to be bad. So I'm going to cook all of them in the Varoma. So the first thing I'm going to, so I'm going to, I'm going to save half of it and I'm going to make half of them patties. Um, all of them, I'm going to rinse them and put them in the Varoma with two liters of water for half an hour. So we want the pulp of the banana to cook completely so then we can, it's easy to maneuver. When we're, when we're done, after the 30 minutes, I'll show you the rest of the ingredients we're going to need. Here I have two, you see, almost two liters of water and I'm going to need it to set or place my uh, platinins in Varoma. Here they are, you see? Oh, with stickers and all, it doesn't matter. I already covered them and I'm going to set uh, 30 minutes in the Varoma, speed 1.5. As I talk, they're being cooked, so I have a half an hour for myself. So the Thermomix alarm uh, went off. Uh, I'm going to check if the platinins have cracked, the, the peels um, have cracked, they're ready. Otherwise, I'll give them another 10 minutes in the Varoma. Okay, so let's see. Okay, this, uh, these two are ready. It has cracked, you see? I'm using tongs because the platinins are incredibly hot. So, yeah, this is ready. Yeah, this is ready. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. Yep. I think I'm going to give this three. Yeah, these four. Another 10 minutes. It's better to have it a little overcooked and not undercooked. Ready, I'm going to show you what 10 minutes can do. But I'm gonna be very careful, and if you do it at home, be very careful. Varoma is usually very, very hot. You see, <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Oh. Look. I'm gonna let them cool off so I can actually touch them and peel them off. And I'm going to add the platinum, the pulp, into the, into the mixing bowl. Here my platinins have cooled off and you see super easy to peel them and I'm going to just add the pulp into the mixing bowl. So the platinins are in the mixing bowl. I'm going to add two tablespoons of white flour 
and then I'm going to mix it 10 seconds at speed 4. I want to show you something, look. If you see, there's one platinum here, you see it? It didn't get mixed, and why is that? Because when in doubt of undercook or overcook a platinum, always overcook. This one got a little undercooked, and now it's giving me a hard time because it doesn't want to blend with the rest, when I'm gonna help it with the spatula. And I'm going to give it another round in the, in the mixing bowl. So my mix is ready. Now what we do is we have to try it to see if it needs sugar or a little bit of salt. It's incredibly sweet and because my, um, my platinins were a little overripe, that's what makes the sweetness here. Anyway, just for the fun of it, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sugar and about one third of a teaspoon of salt. The salt in the sweet things increases the flavor in a way that, I don't know, makes, makes things uh, a little better. So, and I'm going to put it for um, 30 seconds at speed four. Uh, I'm going to preheat the oven at 350. I already sprayed it with a pan and I'm going to pour the platinum mix in here. So here's my mix. If you have more mix that you are going to use, this is the time in which you can grab some of it, put it in a Ziploc bag and stick it in the freezer. Uh, Instead of making uh, patties and fry them, I'm going to cut, I, I put it here, I spread it, and I'm going to cut it with a wet knife because this is a sticky. So I'm gonna cut it with a wet knife and I'm going to add half a cup of oil. After approximately 45 minutes, um, the, the, the platinins are ready and uh, I'm going to show them to you. So it's ready, I'm going to show you my plate here. I took a corner because I usually like crunchy, crunchy stuff instead of like, like center stuff. The center is soft and the top is crunchy. And my husband already took a piece and said, oh my gosh, it's so sweet. And he thought I added a lot of sugar, but you saw how much I added, just one teaspoon. Mm. Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet, but it's not annoyingly sweet. Maybe he was expecting a savory dish because he told me, oh, I forgot the platinins were that sweet. So the, this is not much sweeter than the regular platinins. But um, I think next time, next time I make it, I'm gonna make it a little thinner, like for example, like two thirds of an inch. So I get more crust and less center. No, yeah, I love the crust. The crust is so yummy because it's crunchy. And then part of the sugar 
not the sugar that I added, the sugar of the banana, of the platinum. It made like a caramel top. Super delicious. Super delicious. Mm -hmm. Make it. And see, and see. Mm. See how you like it. It's really, really good. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like your um, platinum souffle, I would call it. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Send you a big, big kiss and a big hug. Have a wonderful day and um, see you next time.